misery in India after losing a test series at home for 12 years. There was ecstasy across the border in Pakistan. Because they finally managed to win a test series at home after 3 years. From 2021 until the first test in Multan in 2024, it was only pain, pain and nothing else. Because they lost the series against Australia, they were whitewashed by England 3-0 in 2022. Then they were humiliated 2-0 by Bangladesh. They didn't win a single test versus New Zealand. So, in this series versus England, Sajid Khan, Noman Ali, all the others who stepped up, Kamran Gulam, Abdullah Shafiq, Saud Shakil, everybody stepped up and ensured Pakistan won a series at home for the first time in three years. Now, many people in the live that happened yesterday when I was giving the update of uh, Pakistan, England were asking, how can Pakistan still mathematically qualify for the World Test Championship final? Yes, Pakistan are not out of the World Test Championship final race yet. They will need Kudrat Ka Nizam part 3 to ensure that they make it. It will be a very tall task and there are a lot of mathematical miracles at play here. Because now after the series versus England has been done, they have four tests remaining. Two versus South Africa, which will be away in December, January. And the final test of their WTC cycle, two versus West Indies, which will be at home. Now, Pakistan have to win all four. Because looking at the WTC cycle, they are currently in seventh position with 33.3. 62.8. 55 or 60 seems to be the range wherein uh, you can qualify for the WTC final. But this time, most nations have lost at home as well. So the benchmark has changed. If Pakistan win all four games, barring over rate deductions and all the other things, they will get to 52.38. They have to win all four. Now, India, Australia, Sri Lanka, New Zealand and South Africa these are the teams that can really dent Pakistan's progress. So the first condition is they have to win all four. Now, how can they qualify for the final? And what are the other results that need to go their way? Drum roll, please. This is the permutation and combination. Firstly, India has to beat New Zealand in Mumbai. So that means if the series ends 1-2, Pakistan have a chance. But if New Zealand do the unthinkable and whitewash India 3-0, then it is game over for them. If this situation is fulfilled, Bangladesh have to lose 0-2 to South Africa. That condition seems to be fulfilled at this point in time. 0-2, South Africa will be the favourites to win. Australia, India. Now, this is where things become murkier. Because India has to win the series 3-2. But that will not guarantee India's progress unless they win 3-2. If the India wins four tests, they are through. But if India lose two tests and Australia only win two, then the percentage points of Australia will be impacted because they have one more test to come up. New Zealand, England. New Zealand have to win 2-1. Because at this point in time, whatever they do, if they lose one more test, they've, lose, they've lost two tests, they have won two tests, New Zealand's PCT will remain where it is. South Africa, Sri Lanka. Now, one of those tests has to end in a draw. That is the one condition that's there. Sri Lanka, Australia. Sri Lanka has to win 1-0 versus Australia. But looking at these particular situations, the two series, a draw in South Africa and a draw in Sri Lanka seems highly unlikely because the nature of the WTC is that you will have to produce pitches which are result oriented. Gaul in particular has become Prabhat Jaisuriya's ultimate spinning track. So that's where a result in Gaul is certified, a result in even Colombo might be certified. But India, Pakistan, if India wins three games, four games in particular, if India wins four games, and Pakistan gets all the result and they win four games. It could be India versus Pakistan at Lords. And India versus Pakistan final is possible. Because if India wins three and one versus New Zealand, they get to four, they have sealed qualification. Australia, on the other hand, they'll only win two, their PCT dips. They will not win anything in Sri Lanka if that happens. New Zealand, the PCT won't go anywhere if they win two and lose two. So that is why 
this particular situation, all hopes are pinned on Australia, India. If Australia wins 3 nil or 4 nil, game over. India cannot qualify, neither can Pakistan. If South Africa win 5 out of 6, then they will go through. If they win all 6 games, South Africa, 5 games now because they won 1. If they win all 5 games, game over for India and Pakistan. So, the series which could decide who is the finalist, 6 teams are in fray. The series that will decide who is going to Lords in June 2025 is Australia, India. Because if Australia win 4 nil or 3 nil and one is a draw and New Zealand do not uh, ensure India win, game over. India cannot qualify for the WTC final then. So, these are the permutations and combinations for not just Pakistan qualifying, but for an India versus Pakistan final at Lords. This can happen, but a lot of mathematical miracles need to happen for that. It is tough, but yes, hope is still alive by a maths equation. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.